and welcome to Co-op Guild. This is Steve here with Kim. Hi, everybody. We're here to play Champions of the Hundred Halls by Black Moon Books Publishing. So this is a game that's actually based upon a book series. And we are playing as characters uh, with unique character decks. And our goal is to take down a big bad boss. Haha, <laughs> smashy time. <laughs> smashy time. Yeah, this is a very modular game in the sense that you will be picking amongst a number of different uh, students to play in this one. These are, you can think of it as like magical students. And you can choose different bosses to fight, and you can choose the realm that they're going to fight in. And so, yeah, we're going to just play as we go here and teach you how to play Champions of the Hundred Halls. If you're interested in this game, there will be a link to pledge it in the description below. Also, of course, this is a preview copy, so everything you see is subject to change. The quality might change, the rules and text change, so just keep that in mind as you watch this playthrough. Our job is to take down the big bad boss. We're playing against Apep is his name. So this is a winged spirit. He, as you can see on the screen there, will have 100 health. So how do we know that? It is by his card here. So he has 60 points of hit points plus a 20 per player. And we are playing with a scenario deck uh, called Denier. So this is a cool deck because we're going to see dinosaurs in this one. And we'll explain how this game works as we play through it. But, so Kim, who are you playing tonight? I am playing as Morgan Mori Charmer. I'm going to call her Mori because that's her cool nickname. Uh, that's what I looked like in college. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I have 30 hit points. Um, there's a couple elements that I will be able to use. Yeah, so these this is your basic attacks, basically. You can choose to do an air uh, attack for three damage or an earth attack for one damage. Or That's the type of attack it is. Okay. Um, I do come from family wealth, so mm -hmm. I could discard a card and draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Is that every turn? Yeah, so every turn you're going to, because we're playing two players, we're going to play two cards from our hands and be, be able to activate one activated ability. So this is your default activated ability, but you might be other ones in play. From the cards that I lay out. Exactly. Okay. Static ability, I have also have family connections. Mm -hmm. uh, so extra damage. Right up my alley. That's perfect. <laughs> very um, much your character. I've already set up the uh, the Nota stone. Yeah, so your thing is all about connecting, grabbing these Venota stones, which are going to boost your abilities, which is pretty cool. So you've already done that already. So what stone did you start with? Let's put some uh, the orange one. So it's going to reduce damage to other players by one. See, oh, I'm, thank you. I'm helping already. What? <laughs> You're supporting. You're what? like a support character. What? No, just this one card. The rest, <laughs> okay, I okay. think I'm just going <laughs> to... That's right. So these trink this is a trinket type of, of, of uh, card, and it's going to stay in play. Basically, yeah. all the cards except for spells, uh, spells are one shot. They're going into the discard pile. Yeah. But yeah. So this is going to stay in play until something happens. But there you go. You got your trinket. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I am playing as Ori. So here's my character. So I start with a little more health. Uh, so 35 health. I can do two damage, uh, two spirit damage or two fire damage as my basic attack. My activated ability is Selfless Protector, because I like support characters. You really do. I do. <laughs> so I can take two damage, which cannot be prevented, and target other player cannot take damage till my next turn. And then I've got a static ability here. Whenever I deal spirit damage to one or more targets, I can heal someone one damage. So I have a question about your activated ab ability. Yes. So you're going to take damage, and then I wouldn't be able to take damage... Would would I still take the attack and then like no damage goes out? Potentially, yeah. Okay. Potentially, yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. So yeah, those those are our characters, and all the characters in the game play very very different. So okay, that's the starting setup. Let's just jump in the game right away. So how the game's going to work is we're going to start off with a hand of five cards. So going to draw you five cards. You have a maximum hand of seven. Good to know. All right, so draw those and then. We will start off with the scenario to go first. And so the scenario one is the big bad monster guy. So what does he do? Let's look at his card. So you draw the big bad? Well, yes. So it says here at the beginning of the scenario, flip over a card from the deck. Which, okay, I did. So we have Venomed Bite, a spell card, which is going to deal four damage to the player with the lowest hit points. So uh, that's me. That's you. Me. Yeah, so. That is me. Oh, no. Kim, <laughs> don't do it. But it's a spell, so it doesn't stay in play, right? That's right. So it's going to okay. go away. So, so one and done. That's one and done. Yep, exactly. I'm going to discard over here. And now, then... let's take a look at the rest of this card, because there's, there's other special stuff. So we did the beginning of the scenario, flip over a card. Got it. At the end of the scenario, 
deal five damage to the player with the highest hit points. That's going to be me. So I'm going to take okay. five damage. Um, and then triggers. This is important to know. If there are f more if there are more than five creatures in play, he's going to heal. So he's all trying to get creatures out and heal himself. Just yeah. to, to and win. the creatures are in this deck, and there's going to be a wall of enemies yeah, at us. Um, so, Steve, you were explaining this, um, you know, if you think about it, kind of like a little bit of magic if you mm -hmm. want to make that uh, comparison. But we'll see how not similar it is to i will so. also point out that our health values you notice that they are higher than what's on the cards that's because we're playing a two-player game and we each start with 15 more health so just a clarification there oh good to know all right so that is the end of the scenario turn i took my damage we flipped over one card resolved it let's move on to the realm on the realm is gonna go next so the realm card says at the beginning of the realm turn flip over a card from the deck so very very similar that's this deck over here so like mm -hmm. the location like you said so our first card is into the mist a quest card it says local denarians need a lost member found in the mist and requires killing a big chomper chompers in this game are the dinosaurs so this one says hit points 10 so it's got 10 hit points at the end of the realm turn we deal three damage to the player with the lowest hit points that would be you came oh no Ugh. Um, but then the cool thing is, the quest cards have rewards. So down here, so after you complete this, whoever completes it will get the reward. And this will stay in front of them as a passive ability. This one says, reduce collapse count by one. Heal player who finished the quest three damage. So, sweet. Okay. That's what... So the quest stays in play until someone completes it. That's so right. every realm turn, it's going to deal three damage? That's correct. Every okay. realm turn, it's going to deal three damage to the lowest hit points, which is unfortunately is you. Actually, speaking of which, I took five damage last time. I believe you, I should only take four, right? Because of your ability. That is actually correct because of my <laughs> orange the, um, the stone. stone. Yep. Yes. Cool. So then um, you took three damage, and then that is it. So that's going to stay in play until we complete it. Okay. So that's all the bad stuff. Now it's going to be our turns. And we can take our turns in any order. Okay. Um, should look at my cards. <laughs> but I, if you want, I can go first. Sure. Okay. Okay. So on your turn, you can play two cards. Well, normally you can only play one card and trigger an activated ability. Because we're playing two players, we can play two cards and trigger one activated ability. So the first card I'm going to play is my Ring of Clarity, a trinket. So this is going to increase my damage by one. So ha ha ha, who's the damage dealer now? <laughs> <laughs> and my second card is going to be the Orphan in Ingenuity. So this is also an enchantment. So this will stay in play. But now this gives me another activated ability. So my activated ability is deal four spirit damage to quest oh. or realm target. And with that additional card, it's now going to be plus one for five. Okay. So again, we can play two cards because it's a two-player game. That's correct. Okay. But um, let me do finish my turn. Oh, sorry. And you can go. So... I'm going to do my activated ability of my um, Orphan Ingenuity, which does four spirit damage to a quest or realm target. I'm going to do it to the Mist up here. So that's going to do five damage to it, up to ten. However, I have a special innate ability, as you remember. Why, is, why are you doing five? You said deal four spirit damage. That's right, because this one does eight, oh, okay. plus one damage. You're compiling. Com yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yep. So... The other thing is, my ability says whenever I deal spirit damage to one or more targets, I can heal a target player one damage. So, Kim, you are healed by one. Aha! There you go. <laughs> okay, I did five damage and healed you one. I feel like it's a pretty good turn. And then, end of my turn, I draw a card. Okay. So, I'm going to play the blue stone, Ooh, what that which do? is reducing damage to myself by one. Uh -huh. uh, and then, I'm also going to play the spell card, Society Contacts. I'm going to draw three cards and then play one card from my hand. I discard a card from my hand. So I'm just going to increase my stash here. And that is a spell so that will get discarded. Yes, and I'm going to have a discard down here. Speaking of which, when you run out of cards, you just reshuffle and keep playing. Okay, so. so then I get to play a card and I have to discard a card. Hmm, choices. It might make sense to also explain how we lose the game. We lose the game when both people are eliminated. We win the game if the boss dies. So, And specifically, it has to be the... Um, the scenario boss. There's some other bosses in the decks that might pop out. So so you played two cards, but that second card gave you additional play. Gives me another play, and I'm yep. going to have to discard a card. Yep. So mm. if you have an option, she's all about stones. So if you, you... Yeah, I know. I'm going to okay. I'm going to play designer potions. Okay. So heal by two, and then I can play another card. Whoa, that's nice. Um, but since I did that, I do have to discard a card. 
I don't want to. The red stone is interesting. Increase air damage for all players and enemies by one. Oh, if so they do I air damage. You don't do air damage? I do air damage. No, if they do air damage. If they though. do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, That seems okay, though. I don't think we've seen any air damaged creatures yet. Well, I mean, I'm we're looking... playing against dinosaurs. How much air damage is there going to be for dinosaurs? That's true. <laughs> I am going to discard the redstone because I have Song Memory, which is a card that's going to let me pull stones from my graveyard. Oh, okay. So I'll get it back. It's not gone forever. Okay. So you did heal me, too. I'm going to play yep. another card. Yep. I am going to play this Wind Spear spell. Mm -hmm. Deal two plus the number of Venetta, Venota stones of air damage to any target, which that red stone actually would be kind of nice now that I look at that. Um, so it's that be would four that damage. would be four. He's got five. But don't you have a special ability? I do. Um, on your on your card there. So if you look at the bottom of your card, you have a static ability, Family Connections. One additional damage to Quest Realm targets. Oh, so I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Cool. So that's five damage. That is five damage. And that's enough to take out uh, the Into the Mist. Bow, 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 bow. So you get the reward. What is that reward? Oh, should we save? Should I have saved it? Because we are going to reduce the collapse count by one, which okay. doesn't have anything yet. Yep. Uh, but I get to heal three because I finished the quest. You definitely need to heal three. <laughs> yes, please. Okay, so that uh, is my play. Yep, and then you get to draw a card at the end. So you played two cards, did one activated... No, you didn't do an activated build, did you? I did a static ability. Do I also get an activated ability? Yeah, you get an activated ability. Oh, discard a, draw, a card to draw two cards. All right, I will discard Tempest Shout. I like it, though, but I'll see it again. And then draw your cards. And you can draw cards from the cards you discard. So you draw two, and then you draw one card at the end of your turn. So you can draw three cards total. Oh, I got the Tempest Shout back. Okay, I'm good. Okay, that's a full round. This is a very fast-playing game, so let's move on to the next round. So, this reminder, what the bad guy does, let's pull up his card. He tells us to play a card, so let's see what we get. We have uh, Mantador. So, he has oh, 15 health. Manticore. Manticore. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the scenario turn, deal three damage to all players. Oof. It's only going to be two, you little cat, because I'm protecting both of us. Oh, yeah, you're protecting yourself and me, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, sweet. That's good. Okay, so, in fact, that's going to happen right now, so we're both going to take two damage. Okay. And then at the end of the scenario turn, we're going to do five damage to the player with the highest hit points, which is still me, so that's going to take four damage. Because I'm still being reduced, so. Okay. We can hit that guy at any point, That's right? That's correct. Yep. I'm going to start punching him. He's bugging me. <laughs> Not this guy, the big boss, right? Oh, yeah. You can talk okay. anything you want. Yep, okay. That's true. So now we do the location or the realm? Yes, let's do the realm. So flip it over. Okay. We okay. have the rogue Phoenix core member. Mm -hmm. A humanoid. He does um, seven hit points. He business. He does mean business. <laughs> <laughs> so he had like sniper rifle or something on him. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> So at the end of the realm turn, uh, he's going to deal two damage to the player with the fewest cards in hand. I currently have five. I have four, so I'm taking the damage this time. So I'll be taking two, two damage, one. which is just one, which is fine. Okay, and that is their turns. Now is our turn. So you're going to go after the boss man, huh? I do, but, but I... you do extra damage to this guy. Yeah, and and this guy's a problem too. He's a problem. He's got 15 health. So right. okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play. The Echo Chain Clinic Healer. Heal already five damage. Play a card from my hand. So I get to chain my cards as well. So. Then I'm done. Okay, so that is one play, but I still have two more plays left. Yeah, because this one lets you play another. Yep, so I'm going to play my card here. Identic Memory. So draw four cards, discard two from your hand, play a card from your hand. So I can play oh, more cards. Play again. But you do have to discard two of those. Yeah. Well, any from your hand, actually, not even from those four. So I still have two card plays. I'm going to start off with this. Lexology. Deal two spirit damage to all enemies. Mm -hmm. So everyone is taking two. Um, actually, it's increased by one because of my, my trinket in place. So it's going to be three damage to everyone. And because this is spirit damage, I get to heal you, Kim. There you go. One health. Yep. Oh, you even did three damage to the boss. I did do the damage to the boss. Oh, I, won't, I won't use him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use the dice for that. He's got a hundred. Yep. I forgot. So I still have another card play. So I'm going to... Let's see. Which of these targets do you want me to deal with? I guess uh, over here. Um, I can kill him with a basic air attack. I wouldn't worry about him. Okay, so he's still got twelve left. Okay, so maybe I'll try and mess with him a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do research weak spot. Deal two spirit damage to target enemy and draw a card. So that's my second play. So that's gonna be because it's plus one. It's gonna be three damage to him. So you can put three damage on him. 
So I still have an activated ability. I think my activated ability will be to do my five elements. I don't. Do you need? Well, no. You have healed you enough. I think you're good. So I'll do. <laughs> that's right. Enough of you. I'll do my five elements. Spirit two. So I'm going to do spirit damage to the Manticore. So that's going to be plus one. It's going to be three more damage on the Manticore, and then I can heal you an additional one. So. Nice. Actually, is that max health for you? Forty-five. Oh yeah, that's your max health. So I will okay. heal myself then. One damage. There we go. Good job. All right, that's it for me, and okay. I get to draw a card. So, I Ken, you am got playing my song memory. Yep. Um, so it's search through my graveyard for a stone and put it in play. I'm going to put the redstone in play. That Ooh. is going to increase air damage for everybody, including enemies, okay. by one. Okay. Okay. Yep. So my second card. I think I want to keep playing stones. I'm I'm going to set myself up for like a big kapow. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Thought. Okay. Who are you going to play? Yeah, more stones. So you played one already, right? I played one. I played this. I played the memory card, which oh. let me put the stone out. Gotcha. I could put in the green stone, which would increase the number of targets of multi-target spells by one. Ooh. So I'm going to start spreading the love out too. Okay. Um, but that's my two card play. Yep. My activated ability, which I have to do anyway, right? Yes. Discard a card, draw. Now, your activated ability could also be your fire elements to just do oh, damage. Oh, just do damage? I'm yeah. going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to do um, an air attack. Okay. Because it's going to increase by one. So I'll do an, an attack of four. So your air attack is three. Plus, plus one. Plus one's four. Yep. This. So I think I'm just going to kill this guy. Four damage? Yeah. Four damage. Yeah, totally. So he, he can be dead. Sweet. Go away. Okay. Um... No reward because no, it's just, he's not a, just a humanoid not that a goes away. He won't hurt you anymore. Thank you. I'm protected. You <laughs> protected me. Okay. All right. Next round. So let's, let's do the bad guy stuff. So okay. We have what? the camo that's camo creature. Death. He's five hit points. The end of the scenario turn deal two damage to all players. When this card comes to play, flip over another card from the scenario deck. Ooh, okay. got two Here's cards. Another one. Now it's a. What does that say? Mind Blast. Spell. Each player discards two cards and takes two damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I have very little cards in my hand. No, I want these. <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, easy choice for me. So, and I would take one damage because I'm reduced. Oh, wait, are you to reduce damage? Well, you and I no, are both, you... you and I both reduce damage by one. Okay, so we're both taking one damage then. Yeah, gotcha. what about the bat? Isn't the bat going to hurt somebody? The bat is also going to hurt somebody, yes. So the bat is going to do... Uh, two damage to all players, so another one damage there. And then we still have the Manticore, which at the end of the scenario turn deal three damage to all players. So it's another two damage to both of us. Okay, we're taking lots of damage. Oh, and the fun thing is we still have the Boss Man. Boss Man card says, at the end of the scenario turn, deal five damage to the player with the highest hit points. So we're tied, so um, one of us has to take five. I think... Four. A four. Well, four if I take it, which I'll take it, I think. Okay. Because, actually, it doesn't matter because you take the little one less two. But yeah, I'll take it because I think I can heal myself a little bit easier. There's okay. a lot of healing cards just for myself. Okay. All right. So he's got two creatures in play. Oh, boy. That's fine. I kept a card that I'm going to hurt some things, but that was not that was not great. No, it was not great. Uh, discard up here. All right, okay. see what we get for the round deck. We have Legacy of Danir. Quest. Information about the Cataclysm can help with the current crisis. The player can discard one card, take three damage, and sacrifice an enchantment or trinket to complete this quest at the end of their turn. Reward would be increased damage to chompers by two. And those are the dinosaurs, which we haven't seen yet. But okay. this does nothing bad, bad. to so us. So I'm okay letting that yeah. sit around for a minute. Because if we discard a yeah. card, we don't have anything in our hands. Right. Or I don't. I, I'm going to help you with that. Speaking of which, it is our turns. So first thing I'm going to do... Did I discard too many cards? Was I supposed to do one or two? Two cards. Oh, okay. Two cards. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is play a card. I'm going to play this rapid research. Each player draws a card. Excellent. I get to play a card from my hand. Well, guess what? I'm going to play another rapid research. Each player draws a card. Oh, good. Good, Steve. <laughs> you are welcome. Good job. Okay, I got two cards to play. So I'm going to play a portal bag. Activated ability, target player may return enchantment or trinket from their graveyard to their hand, then discard another card. So I can get back uh, things we've lost, potentially. Okay. So that's going to stay in play. And my last card I'm going to play is Eidetic Memory. Draw four cards and discard two from your hand. Play a card from your hand. So I'm going to draw four, 
Um, I can only keep keep two of them, and one of these cards I'm going to play. Let's see. I think it might make sense to... Ooh, do I do damage to everything? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, violence, please? <laughs> violence, please? Okay. I will play this one to do three spirit damage to all enemies, because I have plus one. Okay. And that is also a healing spell, so I will heal myself, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'll heal myself that three damage. to the big big boss. Oh, yes, and three to the big boss. Yep. So So we have so you did three to everyone? Yep. So he only has three left. Yep. And this guy's got two left. Sweet. Okay. And I haven't activated ability yet. And I, I will kill them, don't worry. Oh, so I can attack the boss then? Yes, please. Okay, I'll do three spirit damage to the boss. And so down to ninety one, I can heal someone, I will heal myself. Okay. Good, good choice. Him, you are up. Okay, I'm going to play Tempest Shout. And I want to make sure I'm going to combo this right. So I'm going to do three air damage, which is actually four yep. because of your redstone. my redstone. Yep. Uh, to X targets, where which X is... is equal to the number of stones I have. I have four stones. But your green stone says you get exactly. plus one, right? So I could actually target five creatures. Five things with four damage. For four damage. Each. Each. But there's only three targets. So it's okay. <laughs> I just I just am practice shooting the air somewhere else. That's so, amazing. Uh, four damage, please. Okay. So he's dead. Yep. He's dead. Wow. And then four to the boss. And this is actually plus one, right? Because of your innate ability. Does he do extra damage? Oh no, you don't no, damage that. That's not a damage. That's right. This is just a dude in the woods. <laughs> I was gonna take the dude in the woods. He's just hanging out, Steve. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Jeez, I got one more card play. Hold on. Yep. Um, I'm going to play Musical Knowledge, okay. uh, which is an enchantment that will stay in play if you want okay. to show that. So now instead of my um, family both, I can uh, have enchantments. So draw three cards and place them in the graveyard, then I can return a card to my hand. Oh, draw three cards and place... So you put them directly into your graveyard, yep. and you can take any card from your graveyard to your hand. Yep. That's cool. That's very cool. I like it. Okay, so that was your two card plays, and now you have your stuff you can do. So. What do you want to do for your activated ability? I am going to do my regular attack. Regular attack? Yep. So you want to do air, I'm guessing? Yes. So that's four damage to the boss. Four to the boss. Kim, doing some work on this turn. I like it. Yes. I am. I was tempted to do my enchantment right away, but nah, that's okay. Nah, you can wait. Sweet. Good job. Uh, next turn. So we're yeah. going to flip over to the next card and see what happens. Yes. We get a Wraithhawk creature, 12 hit points. At the end of the scenario turn, deal 1 damage to all players and heal 3 damage to the Wraithhawk, which is itself. Ugh. Okay, so he's going to do 1 damage to all players, but that gets reduced to 0. Yes. Sweet. So we'll just wait till we can one-shot him. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's got 12 <laughs> hit points, though. Um, and that's... Oh, and then the boss is going to hit us, remember? Oh, Uber yeah. has the most health. So 5, 4 damage to me. 4 damage to you. Okay, that's it. Now we do the next one. Oh, another dude. Hey, I, this guy looks familiar. <laughs> so He's kind of friend. You'll stay out there for now. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yep, so good times. Wait, I didn't draw a card. When do I draw a card? Oh, at the end of your turn, you should draw okay. one card. Yep. I forgot that. Yep. All right, so it's my turn. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and start off with a rapid research. Each player draws a card. Thank you. <laughs> Replenish my hands here, just trying to. Okay, I'm gonna, and I can play a card from my hand. So the card I'm gonna play is Protect Friends. Reduce damage dealt to players by one. But Ooh. I take one damage at the end of my turn. I cannot prevent it. So yeah, I think this is gonna be worth it. I will take one damage, but to, now we're reducing damage by two each. I think it's gonna be really, really nice. Okay. So I'll put that into play. Um, so I've got that in there, and I have one more card to play. I will play this one here. Deal three fire damage to up to three different targets. Um, I might as well play. It doesn't hurt not to. So I'm going to do it to uh, the Warhawk and the Boss Man. Oh, actually, that's four damage, technically. Sorry, it increased. Oh, good. I actually might be able to kill him. <laughs> now I'll do my innate ability. I'm going to do spirit damage. Do you want me to do spirit damage here? How much? It would be three. You don't need to. Okay, I'll do the boss. So one, two, three to the boss. And then what's going to happen is that spirit damage, I'm going to heal one, and then I'm going to take one damage. Okay. So I'm going to stay there. But that right. is it for my turn, and I get to draw a card. 
I am playing Healing Song, so heal Mori X damage, where X is number to equal to the number of stones I have, so I get to heal four. So who's the healer in this game? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bam. Nice. Nice play. Um, okay. So deal X damage to a single target, where X is equal to the number of stones times two. Whoa. Then sacrifice a stone. I have four Whoa. stones, so it's going to do eight damage. Yep. Eight will kill this Wraith Hawk. Yep. And then we don't have to worry about him healing. Yep. Um, or do I do eight damage to the boss? I feel like eight damage to the boss. I'm, and the Wraith Hawk can heal, it's, but it's not going to hurt us, so I'm not worried about it. If he goes back to full health, whatever. I think you should do eight damage to the boss while you can. Okay. My opinion. All right. We'll do that. Yep. So. And then I have to sacrifice a stone. I will sacrifice my red stone again. What does that one do? Uh, increase the air damage for everybody. Yeah, that, that's, that's you're choice. not playing air. No, I'm not playing. Yeah, air. you're fine. Yeah, I'm gonna get it back anyway. I got song memory. Okay, so as you two two cards, and then you can do activate. By the way, you can do this in any order. Mm -hmm. So you can do activate ability and then play a card and then play another card or play one card do an activate ability. So whatever you want to do is fine. We just have to be playing our cards first and then doing activate yep. abilities. I'm doing enchantment. Draw three cards, put them in the graveyard, then return a card to my hand. Okay, that's the end of your turn. Let's keep going. Let's flip over the next bad guy card. Draw a card at the end of my turn? Yes. All right, enemy card. We have a Mind Blast. Each player discards. No! Oh, oh, not two this one. Take two damage. I have one card in my hand. <laughs> no. no. But I don't take any damage, so that's good. And neither do you. So we just have to discard two cards. Uh, I have no cards. That sucks so much. Yes, because I'm discarding this card, which lets both of us draw cards, <laughs> which was going to be super, super useful. Uh, how unfortunate. How unfortunate. <sighs> okay, so this guy would do damage to us. We prevent it. Boss man's going to attack us. He's going to attack the person with the most amount of health. Yes. So he would do five damage, but it's reduced by two. So it'll be coming to you, Kim. For three. And you're going to take three damage, yes. Okay, that's his turn. Now we've got the realm deck to go. Here we go. Rescue at the mines. Quest. A group of young Danir are trapped at the mines by a chomper. 12 hit points. At the end of the turn, deal three damage to the player with the highest hit points. Reward. Um, you get the mag steel enchantment. It's a trinket. Deal one additional damage to all enemies. Ooh. I, I hear a ooh from ooh, you. I want that. You want that. Okay. I want that. <laughs> So it's going to do three damage to the player with the highest hit points, which is going to be me. So I'm going to take one. just one. Yep, exactly. And that's going to be in play. Okay, our turns. Okay, so I have no card in play, so I can just do an activate ability. Um, do you want me to do damage to that target to help out? Oh, wait. This, this guy heals too, by the way. Oh, that's right. That's right. The, the flying, the flying yeah, guy. That, the wraith heals. The, the wraith heals one. I forgot. So I, yep. yeah, I just did that. You could do damage to that. I could um, do, it would be five damage to it. So then that leaves me with seven. I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and do five damage with my orphan ingen ingenuity to do damage to it. Okay. And then I, at the end of my turn, I get to draw a card. And that is, oh, I do have to take a damage, unfortunately. And I did not do spirit damage this time. So that is not going to get healed. So. Okay. Uh, I'm playing Song Memory, so I can take a stone from my graveyard and put it back. Okay. Um, I also like the purple stone, but I'm going to increase damage. Okay. Now I'm out of cards, so I will do um, just a regular air attack. Okay. Um, ooh, no. I'm not, actually. I'm going to do this, this one. Draw three cards, put in the in the graveyard then put a card in my hand oh you boot building up again yeah because, well i want the other stone Ooh, <laughs> look, oh so many stones <laughs> i feel like thanos <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is the one i took because that's gonna i can't do it now i was thinking i could draw two cards now i'll still draw one yeah so this will be in your hand mm -hmm. but now next turn you can play it it would be great so you can draw extra cards yeah so that's that's the plan Okay, right. so end no of, damage then. No damage, but end of turn, I'll draw a card. Yep. Okay. All right, enemy. Bag of turn. Let's see what we get. We Ooh, get another, another 
Another bite. Deal four damage to the player with the lowest hit points. Uh, That'll be me, and I'm taking two damage. Two damage. Of that. You know, it's kind of nice that we have these, like, shields up. <laughs> we would be so hurt. We would be hurting a lot more, and that's yep. a spell, so oh, I get discarded. That does, um, now, this is do damage to us, but we defend it. He heals again, he does he? Heal. Yeah. Full health now. Yeah. Yep. And now we do the, oh, five damage from that guy to the highest, which is you, Kim. Yep. So, so you take three. three. Okay. Now, over here. Let's see what we get for this card. Hey, this guy is familiar. Phoenix Core member. Seven hit points. At the end of the turn, he does... He deals two damage to the player with the fewest cards in hand, but we prevent that damage. So we're good. Yeah, okay. So he's just hanging out. He's just hanging out. So his um, five friends on the board condition, Yes. that doesn't include the realm deck, right? That's just the his deck? Oh, no. It says if there are more than five creatures in play. Creatures. Okay. So you got to keep track of that. Luckily, the realm so, deck are all humans and other things. So good. right now, there's only one creature. One play. creature. Okay, good. Yep, Just yep. checking. Yep. Good question. All right. What are you going to do, Steve? Not a whole lot because I have one card in my hand, unfortunately. Um, but I, I might as well play. It doesn't hurt not to. So I can do two spirit damage to any target and heal two damage on any target player. So this is actually plus one damage. It's going to be three spirit damage. I'm not sure where to put it, though. Probably here, because that guy's just going to heal. Yeah. You want three? Unless ones? unless you don't need the damage on it. Um, it would be at eight, and then you, it needs 12. Yeah, you need that. I need that. You need that? Okay. Yeah. Then I can heal someone, too. Um, so yeah. I will heal myself, yeah. I think. And plus, that's another spirit card damage. I get to heal another person one. So do you need it? Yeah, I'll give it to you. There you go. I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help yes. me. Okay. Oh, and then my activated ability, I am. I could take that out potentially. You could, but but um, you, it'd be better for you because I could deal additional damage to yeah. all enemies. Yeah. So I'll do the boss. So I'll do my spear attack to the boss. So it'll be just three damage, and I can heal someone one. So I will heal you one, Kim. So we're at the same life. So nice. Okay. All Good right, up, Kim. I'm playing this purple stone. If I draw a single card, I draw one more card. So nice. my end of turn, I'm going to be drawing two cards. Nice. I'm going to put that here. Okay, Thanos. <laughs> you just need the glove. Or, I do. Or you can just call me Ash Ketchum. I'm getting them all. Um, so then my second card play, I have the, the contract spell. So I'm going to draw uh -huh. three cards, yep. play a card, and then discard a card. Okay. Draw three cards. So, Kim, you're choosing to play the Whirlwind Shield, or Whirling Shield. Activate ability deal X air damage any target where X is equal to the number of Veneta stone, stones you have. Oh my gosh, Kim. You are a wrecking machine here. Right. All right. So that's <laughs> gonna go, cow. that's gonna go here. Then I have to discard one, so I'll discard that same thing. Okay, so um, you played your two cards and you have an activated ability. What would you like to do? I am going to deal x air damage how much air damage do you have here so number of stones plus bonus air damage so one two three four five plus one six, six. yep plus uh, six air damage to any target um do it you I'll know you want to yeah, you know I, you want I, to I want <laughs> so the reward is what um i get the mage steel enchantment uh -huh. trinket yep uh, so I deal one additional damage to all enemies. That's amazing. Is that on every attack? Just yep. one extra? Anytime you do damage, it's one extra. Perfect. Do I just get to hang on to this? You can hang on to it. Yep. Okay. It's, it's a, it becomes a trinket, so you just keep it in your area. Yep. Okay. So just like any other trinket. Pow, pow. Which you can then use for sacrificing and stuff if you need to. Okay. So then end of my turn, I'm drawing two guards because of my purple stone. Yep. That must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Now, bad guy turn. So let's go and flip their card and see what they do. We have the Kamozats again. He's five hit points at the end of the scenario turn. Deal two damage to all players, which will be prevented. When this comes to play, play another card. So you play another card. And that's a creature. Ooh, we have a pack of hounds. Fire, Firehound pack. Ten hit points. At the end of the scenario turn, deal two fire damage to the player with the lowest hit points. But we're going to prevent that. So Okay. Because we're preventing two damage to each of us, which is nice. Yes. But yeah, we got a we, lot of creatures coming out. We do have some creatures we want to take care of. All right, realm deck. Oh, nope. First, he does five damage to us. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, Three, I'll take it. It's you fine. take it this time? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now you go. 
we have an enraged boomer. Here he comes. Oh, this is a creature. Oh, there are creatures. Oh, there's four on the there's board. Four. Okay, we need to manage this. 12 hit points. At the end of the realm turn, he's dealing four damage to the player with the highest hit points. So that'll be me. When he dies, increase collapse count by two. Ah, so as a reminder, collapse, what does that do? So that is specific to our scenario here. So um, at the beginning of the realm turn, if there are five or more counters on it, trigger collapse. So that's that's what we're gonna keep track of and when that collapse happens all the dinosaurs come out yeah basically at begin, bad. <laughs> yeah at beginning realm term if denier has collapsed remove all chomper all the dinosaurs from the realm deck and place them in play then shuffle so just go find all the dinosaurs put them all in play and then have fun <laughs> and since they're i'm assuming they're creatures right they are so probably he, creatures. he would likely heal yes and it would just kind of be like this wave of of problems so let's not do that Steve. yeah not, not ideal now as a reminder though we can't we do have an option here during their turn any player may reduce the collapse count by one by flipping a card over on the realm deck so you flip over an additional realm card oh okay so there's an option at least to to mitigate that a little bit but now we've got this chomp this boomer we coming at us creatures. and he's doing four damage to the player with the highest hit point which is me so i'm going to take two damage from that okay and that is it so it is going to be I can hurt a lot of things. You can hurt a lot of things. That's awesome. Because yes. I can't do much of anything, to be honest. So. That's it. Yes, you can. Nope, I believe. Nope. Is it worth it to protect us more? Um, I'm taking more damage, though. No, I don't want you to die. Because if you die, do we lose? or? No. If I is When we both die, we lose. Okay. So. Not that that's going to happen. All right. So I'm going to play my card in hand. I'm going to play another Protect Friends. So we do some damage even more, but I'm taking more damage myself, unfortunately. But I think it's worth it. Okay. Then I don't have any more cards to play. It's just one card. And I'm going to do a activated ability. I'm going to do my spirit damage. So you said that if I if I do damage here, that's all you need? You need some damage? I just there? need one little hit on him. Okay. So I can do three damage to him. Okay. And then that, and I can heal something. I'm going to selfishly heal myself because I'm going to take two damage. So if I'm going to heal one, take two, drop one health. That's fine. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Kim, okay. do your damage. I know I'm you can. going to play Wind Spear, two plus a number of stones of air damage to any target. To any target. So wow. I have five stones. So five plus two is seven. Yep. Then I have my plus one air damage stone, which yep. is eight. Then I have my trinket over here, which is nine. So Whoa. nine damage. I'm going to kill the wolf pack. Sweet. Well done, Kim. Uh, he's going away. Yep. And then, oh, except for to do that. Nope, that's this card. Then I'm going to play Wind Burst. Wind Burst. Another spell. Do X air damage to three targets. Actually, it's plus one for you, right? So it's four? Yes, four targets. Where X is the n equal to the number of Veneta stones, sacrifice stones. So you have yep. five. So it's five damage to four separate targets. But it's plus one, so it's six. Six. Actually, it's plus another one because it's air. Seven. So it's yep. seven damage to four targets? Seven damage to four targets. Wow. So hit the boss. Okay. That's one. He's dead. That's two. Um, they don't have anything. Only I'm the, just making the sure. Uh, and then seven, he's dead. Okay. And then I can do one more. Not there. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Um, should I hit the hawk or the... I the feel boomer. like you should take out the, the boomer okay. bear thing, um, just because, yeah, it's going to be annoying, I guess. Okay. Seven. Okay. So that was your two card plays. You still have your... Oh, you have to sacrifice this a stone, though. I do. I am going to so. sacrifice... I'll do the multi-spell hit. Okay. For now. It's going to come back. Okay. All right. End of turn. Draw two cards. Uh, no, you have activated ability. Oh, I forgot about that. Ooh, more damage. <laughs> <laughs> She's the right type of player for me. That's all I'm going to say. No, she was. Ooh. I'm going to draw three cards, put them in my graveyard, uh -huh. and then put a card back in my hand. Or okay. I could just do more. I should just... I'm just going to murder more. Um, X air damage. So four, uh -huh. five, six damage to somebody. I could kill this guy. You could. Okay. Okay. And when he is destroyed, um, we have to increase the collapse count. 
by so two. By two, just put two on there. And then I think that's it, right? Yep. Okay, now when that gets up to five, we're in trouble. Well, but we can handle it. So far. All right, now I'm going to draw two cards. Yes. Okay. So I'm out of my draw deck. Yes. Can I shuffle you now? Shuffle? Yep, you okay. shuffle and recreate. Yep. Okay, let's see what the bad guy's going to do on his turn. We flip over a spider swarm. Oh, Kim's your favorite, ah, spiders. I hate, <laughs> I hate spiders. Like, <laughs> I'll deal with snakes before spiders. <laughs> Five hit points. At the end of the scenario turn, deal three damage to all players. Well, guess what? I am preventing all that. That's amazing. So we're good. It's got five hit points. Okay. We also have the boss guy. He's going to do five damage to the person with the most health. We're tied. So someone's going to take five minus three, two damage. I'll take it. You take two damage? Okay. Okay. That's it. And then we move on to the realm deck here. So let's see what we get. We have another core member. So hit points, and then a turn he's going to do two damage to the player with the fewest cards. Um, that's going to be me, but mm -hmm. I can reduce it by three anyway. So we're good. We're good. Okay, I guess it's my turn now. Let's see what we can do. So I have... I'm going to play this card. I don't know if it's going to be very useful because I feel like I'm protecting you anyway, but I'm going to play it. Uh, selfless Sacrifice. Once per turn, when damage is dealt to another player, I can redirect up to three damage to myself. Okay. So... It's, you can't let your friends down, she yep, says yep. in the flare text. <laughs> but uh, I'm reducing damage to you anyway, so you, we're probably okay in that regard. Okay. Okay, and then I can do uh, activate ability. Do you have an enchantment or trinket that you want from me? Oh, you don't have a graveyard anymore. Just kidding. No. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to do spirit damage to something. He's only five. I mean, we do some the, damage the there. Spiders are easy. Are you just going to destroy the spiders anyway with your massive damage over there? Um, <laughs> I, I mean, like, I can. I feel like I, you might. I can one-shot them, yes. Well, I'm going to do the boss then. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you need my help. So, one, two, three. And I get to heal someone one. I will choose myself. And I got to take two damage at the end of my turn. So. Okay. All right. Drawing card. And Kim, you're up. All right. I'm, pay I'm playing Tempest Presence, so it's an enchantment. It's going to increase air damage by all players by one. Sweet. So now my air damage is a bonus two. Bonus two, plus a bonus one from your trinket? Yes. So plus three. Yes. Okay. Kim, you're playing what? Uh, healing song. So I'll heal four, and I'm going to sacrifice this stone. Okay. So up to four. You're dropping power, though, Kim. No, it's fine, because I'm going to get it right back, because I'm going to play uh, this enchantment, the activated ability card. So I'm going to put three into my graveyard. Yep. And then I get to pull one of my graveyard cards back. Okay. So I'm just going to take this stone back right away. Okay. Okay, so you did your card plays, and you did your activate ability, and then you draw your cards. Yes. Okay. And then we're back up to bad guy turn. Drawing two. So let's see what faces us next. We have the hapless Phoenix Core member, a spell. Phoenix Core guards mistake you for a creature. How dare they? All players take one damage, which we prevented. No, nope. so we're good. That's a spell. That's out. And then end of turn for these things. I don't think they do anything to us because we prevent it. Uh, yeah, this is three damage. That's one damage. He's healing, and then five damage to the highest HP. So that'd be you, Kim, so and that's minus three. Three so two. to take. Yep, two damage. Okay. And then we're over to the realm. So let's see what happens. Defense of the looter post. So this is the quest. To protect the settlement against the attack, resources are needed. A player can sacrifice an enchantment or trinket to complete this quest at the end of the turn. Reward. You get reinforced barriers enchantment. Reduce damage dealt to all players by realm effects by one. Yes, yes. It's like, we won't take any, any boo-boos. I like this. All right, so it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and play this card. Protective charms, because we need more protection. I'm going to reduce damage dealt to me by one. Oh, good. So now you're only going to do one damage. No, it's unpreventable damage. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I'm also going to sacrifice this enchantment because I don't need to protect you. Honestly, you're fine. Because I'm going to take this instead. <laughs> so I sacrificed my enchantment to, to complete the quest. So I got this reduced damage to all players by realm effects by one. Oh, so it's the same same thing. Kind of. Except even better. Okay. So there's my there's my trinket there. I'll put this next underneath my other trinket. Reduce damage. So we're just reducing all the damage. <laughs> we're, we're a little OP right now. I we'll love see. it. I love we're, it. We still have a lot of damage to do on the boss. We have ways to go yet. Yep. Speaking of which, I only have three damage I can do to something. 
So I guess I'll do the boss. Because, uh, yeah. yeah. One, two, three. I get to heal somebody one, and I take two. So heal yourself. Heal myself one, and I take two damage. Okay. Okay. I am playing designer potions, so heal two damage to myself, and then I can play another card. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to play wind spear, so two damage plus the number of stones of air damage. So I have four stones plus yep. two is six. Uh, three or seven. Eight, nine. Nine damage to something? Nine damage to something. Um, I don't want too many creatures, because I have another card to play. So we're going to kill the spiders. Okay. And then I'm going to play that card again. Oh, my and goodness. And do nine to the boss. Nine to the boss. Well done, Kim. Yep. Now I'm out of cards. <laughs> okay. You still have your activated ability. What would you like to do? Ooh, choices. I could deal X air damage to any target where X is equal to the number of stones. So it'd be, again, four, five, six, seven. Yep. I could kill the humanoid. You can, but he's not hurting us right now. You're right. Probably due to the boss, I think, right? All right, I'm gonna, I am going to do whirl, uh, Whirling Shield. So X damage, X air damage equal to my stones uh -huh. to a target. Four stones, bonus air, bonus air, trinket damage. Kim. All right. You're at the same life as the boss now. End of turn, drawing two cards. That's amazing. I wish I could draw two cards like that. <laughs> okay. it's I like my stones. I know what Thanos wanted. <laughs> I know what Thanos wanted. I understand his viewpoint. <laughs> oh, there's another uh, Phoenix Core member. So, when it takes you per creature, all players take one damage, which we prevent, so we're good. Okay. This guy is effectively not going to do anything to us, and then he's going to do us five damage. To the highest? To so the me. highest, and you're going to reduce by... Three. Okay, three damage to you, Kim. Okay. Now we do the realm card. Let's see what we get. We have a ghost wind creature. At the end of the realm turn, ghost wind heals the player with the lowest hit points for two damage. Well, that's kind of nice. If the collapse occurs, sacrifice this card. Well, no, we want you to stay around, ghost wind. We do, except for it counts as the creature, it which does. is going to boost the bag up. If it's, uh, is it Five or more than five? Five. More than five. More than five. Yeah. Okay. So we're good at... So that. at he the end of the turn, he's going to heal the lowest, which is me. Which is two. Thank you. Good job, little floating jellyfish. <laughs> and these guys aren't going to do damage to us because we can prevent it. Yes. So we're good. Our turn. Okay. So I will start my turn by playing the research weak spot. Deal two spirit damage to a target enemy and draw a card. So that's going to be three damage. I'm going to do two boss man. One, two, three, and I get to draw a card. And I, oh, I'm gonna play the, my second card. Plays as as my second card. Each player draws a card. Yes. And then I can play a card from my hand. I'll play this one. Deal three fire damage to up to three different targets. So what do we want to do fire damage to? Well, there's target, target, target. Oh well, those three guess get damage. Oh, and that's gonna be plus one, so it's actually four damage. Oh, okay. Yep. Nice. Because I, I still have my trinket out there for four additional. Four, and then do four on the boss. Leave our jellyfish friend alone. <laughs> He's okay. He has no hit points anyway, so it's good. Okay, and then I can do my activated ability. I would like to... I think I'll just do my spirit damage to the boss again. Okay. What do you think? Sure. So another three damage. I get to heal some somebody. Um, I'm going to heal you this time. Okay. No, I'll, I'll heal myself one. Then I'm going to take two damage. Okay. That's it for me. I draw my card, and Kim, you're up. I can do my activated ability and enchantments anytime. Yes, you can I'm do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw three cards and put them in the graveyard, then pull from the graveyard. Okay. Aha! I found a stone. That's what I want. Uh, my indigo stone. So now you can play two cards. I can play two cards. I'm going to play more designer potion. Heal two, please. Heal two. Okay, so you're going to be up... Yep, a little bit and it says play an additional card, so I can still play two cards. Sweet. Um, then I'm going to play my Indigo Stone. And what does that do? If I return a stone from the graveyard, instead return two. Ooh, nice. I am going to play Tempest Shout. Tempest Shout, so what yes. does it do? Three air damage, which is extra. Okay. To X targets where X is equal to the number of stones. Do you so have I... the extra stone? Oh, you don't have the extra targets. Well, there's only three targets. There's anyway. only three targets. Yeah. So, so, but it's it's five. I can hit five targets. One, two, three, four, five. 
No, because it's X targets where X is equal to oh, the yeah. number of stones. It's Five only targets. three damage. No, it's but, more than that because it's air, right? Yes. So it's three, four, five, six. Six damage to five targets. To five targets. Wow. Wow. So okay. six to the boss, please. Okay. He's at ten. Uh, and then the humanoid will be dead. Okay. Well done, Kim. Well done. Draw, draw a card. Draw my cards. Yep. And the boss will go. Let's see what he does. He has a Mistracon. This is a 10 hit point creature. The end of the scenario, deal five damage to the player with the highest hit points. So that's going to basically happen twice because the boss is going to do it too. Okay. So who has the most health? That's you, Kim. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take uh, reduced by three. So you're going to take two damage. Yep. Okay. And then we're tied. Um, I would like to take the five damage from the boss. Okay. This guy's healing. Oh, yeah. He does heal. That's right. And I take five damage from the boss, but I have an extra reduced damage. So that's be I'm reducing by four. One, two, three, plus one from you is four. So I'm only taking one damage now. Nice. So, all right, that's it. And then we move on to the realm. Realm. And we can't forget about our jelly's fish friend at the end of the turn. Yes. We have a chomper. Here's the dinosaur. Oh, the first dinosaur. Five hit points. At the end of the realm turn, deal two damage to the player with the lowest hit points. When this card comes in play, deal two damage to the player with the highest hit points. So, Kim, you're going to take two, nullified. but nullified, and then I'm going to take two. I, the lowest, yeah, I'm going to take two is nullified, but it's got five hit points. But here mm -hmm. they come. The dinosaurs are coming. Okay. Okay. End of the realm turn, uh, someone with the lowest hit points heals for two. Thank you, Jellyfish. I love that Jellyfish. He's that's, my friend. That's fabulous. <laughs> okay. Okay, my turn. So, because this is amazing, I'm going to play a second Protective Charms. So, reduce damage to myself by another one. <laughs> okay, but I have no more cards to play. Okay, so what are you going to do? So I'm going to do spear damage, which is only two plus one. It's going to be three. And I think I'll just keep attacking the boss because you're doing a great job at everything else. If you hit this guy, yeah. he could, we could take him out. Okay, I'll do that guy then. And that will let me heal one. I'll heal one. Then I got to take two damage. So, But I'm currently reducing damage by five. <laughs> so... Feeling pretty good about that. All right, Kim, you are up. I am up. I'm going to play my green stone, which increases my target count okay. for multi-target spells. Yep. Um, and then I'm doing Tempest Shout again. So that's actually now uh, three, four, five. It's still six air damage. Okay. But I can hit anybody I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven targets. targets. For six damage each. For six damage. So this guy, oh. the, the warhawk's oh. finally dead. Wow. Um, he'll be down to six. Uh -huh. This yeah, chomper died. Okay. And then six to the boss, please. And then you, did you do your activated I, ability? I did not. So you um, still have more potential damage or something else you can do. I am doing super damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do X air damage to any target where X is equal to my number of stones. Yep. So six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa. I'm so close. Hit the boss. Whoa. Down to five, Kim. All Down right. to five. He's so dead. <laughs> okay. All right, enemy turn. Okay, let's do Wait, it. Wait, did I draw my cards? I have to no. draw my cards. Yep, I draw your cards. And then bad guy goes. See what he does. He is going to try to buy his deal four damage to the player with the lowest hit points. We're tied. I will choose to take it, and I reduce all that damage. So, ha, ha, ha. This guy is going to do five damage to who? Uh, the highest. The highest. We're tied. I will choose to take it because I prevent five damage. Okay. And then the boss does five. So, yep. And I'll choose to take it. I'll prevent all the damage. Is that broken? Did we break it? I am awesome. <laughs> I am powered up. I love it. <laughs> okay. All right. Realm card. We have the Unbanned Syndrigler. I don't know. <laughs> Quest. At the end of the realm turn, increase the collapse count by one. Oh, it's going to just start ratcheting up now. At the beginning of any player's turn, they may take four damage to complete this quest. Reward. Uh, gift of Syndrigal. Jam it. Reduce realm damage to this player by one. More reduction damage, which is amazing. Perfect. You know but what? It's We have to increase the, the count. Right I now. mean, it's fine, because it's only at three, and uh, the boss is going to die. Yes, I think so. All right, so on my turn, I'm going to play my artifact I finally got. So this is one of her awesome ones, Rod of Dominion. Activate ability, do five damage to any target. And I can heal people by three. Do you want the final blow? I feel like you deserve it, though. <laughs> okay. 
I I'm instead gonna choose to heal myself three, and I'll take two damage. Okay. So I'm just gonna heal myself one effectively, and then Kim, I'll let you do the do the honors. Because right. look at that, look at that board you have over there. <laughs> I am going to I'm gonna finish it with the sacrificial slam. Oh, that is so <laughs> fitting. Too perfect not to play. Wait, wait. What is that called? The sacrificial slam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, X damage uh, is stones times two. I have six stones. Well, this is oh, that's not a stone. Yeah. Wow. Um, and so it's gonna be twelve damage. Twelve damage. And then I would sacrifice a stone, but it's just twelve damage to the boss. He's dead. <laughs> that is amazing, Kim. Oh, I love it. Ending mm. with a, a fitting gamma slam. Welcome to the slam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> All right, Damn. that will chuck the win for us. Yeah, and for fun, I could kill that guy. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the chat. So that concludes our play of Champions of the Hundred Hall. So, Kim, what was your first impressions of this game? Um, any opportunity I have to smash things <laughs> is great. Yes. So, good job uh, on character selection for me. Um, I really liked the combinations and how you're building the engine to make it work. Uh -huh. um, our two characters complemented each other really, really well. Uh, the fact that we were basically taking no damage um, and I was doing- You're welcome. A, you, yes, thank you, Steve. <laughs> and I was doing a boatload of damage. Um, I did feel like we hit an overpowered mark yeah. at one point yeah. um, and it was just kind of, it was too easy. Uh -huh. um, but you, I know you mentioned earlier, this is the easiest boss. So I would play it again, but ramp up the difficulty. Sure. Um, but no, I had a really good time with it. I, again, if I can smash something and, and collect a bunch of stones like Thanos and destroy the world, sure. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, this game, this game is really fun. It wound up being very quick to learn, uh, just because I, well, to be fair, I play a lot of Magic the Gathering in the past, so there's a lot of inspiration from that here. So for me, it was very, very quick in that aspect and on learning and playing. And honestly, the cards are very clear in what they do for sure. Uh, the characters are very unique. As you can see, between my character, my character can do like maybe three damage at max. Versus Kim's, like, what are you doing? Like seven damage and nine? I don't know what you're doing over there. It's, <laughs> it's a lot. Insane amount of damage over there. So, yeah, like just that alone, you should see the differences between the characters. And there's a lot of really cool ones in there. Uh, really fun. Uh, the realm deck is interesting. So, they all have a different twist with different quests, which are kind of cool. They can provide different bonuses, which I like a lot. It lets you feel what, like, being able to build up a character and feeling powerful is something I love to do in games, and this does it in spades. Really fun gameplay from that perspective. I will mention that um, I know this is a prototype, and the font sizes are all, all over the place, so like cleaning up the, the formatting of this is something I know I would like to see, but um, gameplay-wise, really, really fun game. Really enjoyed it. A um, lot, of, lot of modularity, which is nice. And it's easy to set up, because you just grab the decks you need, which is, which can be two character decks and then uh, the boss and the realm, and you're good to go. Now there is solo mode as well. You can play. There's some uh, adjustments there to kind of give the solo player a additional boost. As you can tell, like when we play two player, we got a boost in health as well, and we could play two card a turn instead of the normal one card a turn. Mm -hmm. So there's some um, inherent uh, player scaling within the rules themselves. But yeah, go check this out if you're interested in backing it. Uh, this was a fun one. Champions of the Hundred Halls. Any other thoughts or comments, Kim? Um, no, I'm I'm with you. It's a it's a fun game. Uh, I would play it again. Ramp up the difficulty. I wanna I wanna see. Um, you wanna see how your Thanos character can take on the world? I do. I wanna take on. I wanna take on more and kind of see where that threshold is. Don't like I had a blast. And sometimes just playing an easy game and or having an easy play is just a fun, jovial nightcap type of thing. I'm curious how you would fare against someone that doesn't do nearly as much damage, because that's a high damage dealing character. Why would I play someone that doesn't do so much damage? <laughs> it's true. It's very much your style. <laughs> so long as you're there to like soak up the hits or yeah. protect us, then it all balances out. It's totally fine. Um so no, yeah, I I I'd want to see where where it can go to, um, oh. but no, great first play, great first impression for me. Thanks for watching our playthrough of Champions of the Hundred Halls, and go check this out on Kickstarter. The link will be in the description below. Yeah, and also we want to thank our Patreon and Ko-Fi 
members. Uh, we really appreciate your support, all our subscribers. Um, it does help a lot. So thanks, everyone. We really enjoy the community. You are all awesome. Very much so. Thanks for joining us at the Guild. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.